Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do our early build for the NFL Sunday Slate. And again, we're doing our early build using the Saber Sim Contest Sims uh, tool. And again, uh, these projections are early. Uh, this is not to imply that this is what we're actually playing. But again, the, the goal of this, this website, for me at least, is to teach you guys process and how to play. Not exactly, you know, who to play all the time. Um, so with these new contest sim things that are out, um, I'm learning myself on how to best make use of them. And I'm sharing that kind of uh, process and frustration. And as I develop better skills at it, I'm conveying them over to you guys. Um, so uh, you can take this as, you know, who looks good in the NFL this weekend. But it's more important, I think, um, to see the process of how these things get built using these tools. So. The one thing I did first, and this is just going to be for FanDuel. Uh, I did DraftKings yesterday. Um, so this is just for FanDuel. And again, it's early in the week um, with all those disclaimers. First thing I did was I did upload my uh, custom projections to replace the SaberSim ones. Uh, but I did keep the ownership uh, ones the same as SaberSim. And that's because my ownership projections are still pretty poor right now. Because they still have some stray projections. Uh, from these the Monday night games um, applied to those same players for next week, which is kind of ridiculous, but that's what, what my sheets look like right now. So I'm not comfortable putting those into the ownership columns yet. Um, so anyway, whether you use the Saber Sim projections or your own or whatever, the, the process begins the same way. So your projections are in here. The first thing I want to do is we're going to build lineups. Then we're going to uh, put settings in for our contest sims and then rebuild those lineups with those contest sims in mind. So we are going to end up playing the 150, the, the Sunday Million. So we want to build 150 lineups at least. Um, the, other, the other thing we're going to play is the Monster, which is one uh, one lineup in the 444. So those are the two contests we're going to attend to sim here. So the first thing we do is we just build our lineups before we do anything with the contest simulations. Um, so building 5,000 lineups total, you know, we're not using 5,000, we're building a pool of 5,000 um, that we can access if, in case we want to tweak or you know, re-rank -re teams and things like that. So let's just see how long this takes. Shouldn't take that long. And again, I don't want to pause it and then bring it back because I want to give you some sense of, of real time how long this, all, this whole process actually takes. Finalizing lineups. If you believe that the GUI is correct, okay. Loading lineups. Okay, so we have 150 lineups in there, and we're not making any changes in them right now. Okay, um, we're not tweaking. We're not doing anything. So let's just see what they look like. I mean, may as well. Um, first of all, stack exposures, a lot of just QB plus ones. Um, I don't want to mess around with this too much yet. When it comes down to it, I might not play any no QB stacks or whatever. But for now, I'm going to trust that these lineups are what they're supposed to be. Uh, team stacks. Uh, this is a little surprising. Uh, Chicago is showing up as the top uh, team stack um, playing Denver. Mo I think... Justin Fields is probably leading that charge, but nonetheless, again, we're not we're not questioning this. We're just showing what what we're getting right now. One thing that's probably a good idea at this point is to put min uniques too. Um, and it's funny when you do that, Philly comes to the top um, uh, of the list. So it's Philly and Chicago, but we're but these these lineups have nothing to do with the contest sims. These are just lineups that are just they're good high upside lineups. And they have been kind of sorted to deal with large slate uh, 10K to 50K by uh, entrance. But actually, if you even wanted to do this without using a contest sim, you want it for the 150 for the Sunday Mill, you want to make it even a larger slate. Um, but it's still Philadelphia and Chicago look like the top uh, the top stacks over here. But nonetheless, we don't really care about this for this. We want to we want to to do a little better 
and run these lineups against what we think the field is going to do in the particular contest that we're playing. And that's where this contest sim thing comes into play. So we have to add two contest sims uh, to this because we're playing two contests. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the, the, the lottery, so the Sunday Million. So we're just going to call it the Sunday Million. And first thing is you want to, to assign uh, a presumption of what the field is going to do. So SaberSim has a, does a good job of preloading these things. Um, and flagship NME is what we're going to use for the, uh, for the Sunday Million. Now we have to change contest size and percent to first because there's obviously much many more entrants than that. So let's just kind of let's let's pull it up here actually. So um, come on, I'll pull it in from here. Let's look at a uh, lobby NFL full roster. Um, okay, so Sunday million. It looks like. Is going to be three hundred eighty thousand nine hundred and fifty-two. <laughs> uh, so let's put that in here. Um, three hundred eighty thousand nine hundred fifty-two entrants. Uh, how much for first? It's like so funny. Well, why would you even play when you know how, how many people you're competing against? Uh, three hundred thousand for first, as of compared to one point six, so about about twenty percent. Maybe a little less, so called like eighteen percent per first. So eighteen percent per first, and they do pay twenty percent of 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 the field. Fifty thousand sims. Okay, so let's hit save settings. We're not going to run the simulation yet. First, we have to save this. Okay, good. We're going to add one more contest sim here. We're going to call that the monster. So that's what it's called. And we're going to tweak the settings here because the monster is a little bit different. So the monster is only going to be only <laughs> 2,500 entrants and 20% uh, for first. So let's put that in 2,500 entrants. What did I say? 20% for first. Uh, 2,500 entrants and 20% for first. Okay. And 20% pay as well. So. We'll save the settings there. And, but here, instead of comparing it to flagship MME, we're going to call this high stakes MME. We're going to use the settings for high stake MME. And you could, uh, this, is, this is how it breaks down. All right, so let's save these settings. So we have settings for two different contests preloaded. Let's go ahead and run the contest sim. And what it's doing now is it's rerunning all of these lineups uh, with those particular contest settings in mind and also the particular, uh, you know, uh, field assumptions um, in mind as well. So it's it's not just what you think you're going to need to win against XYZ player, against this many players. It's what we think those players are likely to do. Um and I can't get deep into the weeds on how those metrics are, are determined. I'm sure that if you if you search a Saber Sim, the office hours, you'll be able to find at least one or two uh, more in the weeds uh, discussion of how that's calculated. Nonetheless, uh, I don't have the patience for that. I'll just presume that they're good. Um, all right, so we ran the simulations for both of these. And now what we have to do is we have to re-rank all of these lineups uh, that accurately or, or, or that better fits the actual contest. So the first thing we have to do here is see this drop down and we're going to go, we're going to re-rank these by this Sunday million. Now we're going to sort by ROI specific to the Sunday million, which is specific to the contest settings that we set for it. So now the, the, it looks a little bit different, right? So now, it looks as though Philly is is the clear, you know, choice given what the what the contest settings are. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to now uh, add this one to our contests, um, which should be somewhere. Add to contest should be somewhere. In this. 
um, email contest. So it should be here. Where is add to contests? Go contest. Uh, where is it? I mean, I could I could always just download this and just add it that way. But oh, this one probably. No. Um, is it down this way? Is it underneath here? Am I missing like a little thing under here? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, no. Rebuild contest. Is it all off to the right here? Come on, Eric. Where are you? I guess it would be saving it this way. Upload for this slate first. Oh, okay. So let's upload this first. All right. So upload the entries file. Uh, well, actually, first you have to download this here. So download the template. And let's, uh, from NFL. We're going to uh, download this from here. And then this from here. And then, okay, save to contest. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do, sorry, is save that 150 to the Sunday million, save to contest. And you see that it already changed it. And then um, we'll do the same thing to the monster. So we have to resort these by the monster setting. And that's the monster here, ROI. We don't need 150 lineups, we're only entering one. And we'll be getting Dallas as our main stack over there, which is yeah, a little contrarian actually. And we wanna add that to, oh, right here, to the monster, boom, excellent. So now we have our new entry files. So we are downloading the entry to FanDuel. We're going back into here and we will go to, uh, wait, what's this? What this is. Um, we'll upload the file here and we should be good. Now, again, this is with no tweaks. You know, you, you could obviously go in and tweak stuff um, uh, post build and then it'll redo it for you. But that's pretty much what your early sim process is going to look like. And um, to remind us what we have, <laughs> and again, this is early, obviously. Let's go back to that uh, Sunday Million one for a minute. Where is that? The uh, Sunday million, I guess. The the uh, 150. We, we, when we rank them by uh, Sunday million ROI. Yeah, so 50% Philly, followed by Chicago, then Buffalo, then Cleveland. Interesting. And as far as, as, as just straight ownership, like who the real... Um, top owned players are. Well, first of all, running backs, we'd be getting almost 50% Javante Williams. I guess he serves a, what's, he's going to serve as a good run back to Chicago, I suppose. Um, I, again, I don't want to get into why we're getting what we're getting. That's really not the purpose of this. Um, but if you look for overall, like top owned players, and that would be A.J. Brown. You know, and Jalen Hurts. So this Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown connection is going to be dominating quite a bit of the FanDuel builds. Um, but that's now. Obviously, things can change throughout the course of the week, and they almost certainly will. And uh, But again, this is the process that you use. And see, it really didn't take too long. And that's one of the things I'm, I'm doing is learning how to do this quickly. Now, ne next time, maybe we'll we'll do some more tweaks. Like, um, And we could do some now, if you want to know the truth. I mean, like we have this, this setting here. 
if we don't want uh, this many, I don't know, zero ones, we could just X these out, like for example, but I'm not gonna mess with this right now, then you just resave. Um, or like, let's just say, you know, you, you don't want 50% Philly, you could cut this down like over here, and, but we're not gonna do that right now. Just wanna show you how to run these, these what the early sims are gonna look like. Uh, obviously stay tuned for a hell of a lot more content during the course of the week.